Hi there, I'm Miss Joy and welcome to In The Bag Kids Crafts. And today, making crafts with me is... Addie. Addie, Addie, I'm so excited that you came to make something with me today. And we decided that we are gonna make this little kangaroo. Show them the special thing about the kangaroo. Oh, she has her own little Joey. So we're gonna teach you how to make this every step along the way. And to get the supplies, you can find them in the description. All the supplies are part of our master list that we use for every craft that we make here. Just 27 basic items that fit into one bag. And Addie, since you're here crafting with us today, I was wondering, what is your favorite animal? Do you have a favorite? They're all cute, huh? Probably a llama. Oh, a llama. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to make a llama next time. All right, and he can be friends with our kangaroo that we make today. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Here are all of the items that you're going to need to make the kangaroo craft. You'll find the link to the free kangaroo template in the description below. And just like always, everything that we're using is part of the master list of craft supplies that we use for every single creative project at In The Bag Kids Crafts. That way, once you fill your bag, you're ready to craft along. Go ahead and pause so that you can go gather all the things that you need to make the kangaroo craft with us. The first thing we need for our kangaroo craft is a paper plate. And we're gonna take that plate and we're gonna kind of fold it in half so that we know where to cut. And I don't need to make a big crease, I just need to make a little mark so that I know where to cut the plate. Now let's go ahead, we'll take our scissors and we'll cut straight across our paper plate. Just like that. So eventually we're gonna kind of sandwich these together, but we need to make the pouch. And the pouch is in the full area, so we're gonna cut again on half of one of our plates, and we're gonna cut off about the top third of it. So I'm just gonna do a straight line right across, just like that. And if I decide that's not a big enough pouch, yeah, that's probably good. So this is kind of what we're going for, where it's gonna be like together here. like that. Perfect, yep, that's great. All right, good. So now we have our two pieces. This is the body, and then this is the pouch of our kangaroo. And all we need to do is paint them. So for our paintbrush today, we're just gonna use pom-poms. You can also connect the pom-pom with a clothespin. So here, because we want to have a little more pouch, see how it like makes like a pocket? So you're gonna actually paint the front side and then the back side of what you cut, okay? So let's shake up our paint a little bit. Shake it up, shake it up, and give it a little squeeze. We have a newspaper here so we don't make a big mess. And we're just going to paint our plates. Like I said, I don't keep paint brushes in my bag because I find that like they don't always get dry and so like I leave them out to dry and then I forget them and then they don't get back in the bag. But with a pom-pom, when you're done with it, you just throw it in the garbage. You don't have to worry about it again. So you'll notice it's a little hard to get a lot of paint on this, you know, cause it's kind of like glossy. So we can always go back and paint over it again once it dries a little bit. We don't have to worry too much about painting the bottom because it's going to be down inside the pouch. If you need more, more paint, just squeeze it on out. You're doing a great job there, Addie. So on these little grooves, sometimes I'll need to like tap into it. And I can even tap. Yeah, that kind of looks like fur, doesn't it? Like when you tap it with the pom-pom. Yeah. Have you ever seen a kangaroo in real life? I don't think. No. I saw one at a zoo once. And they were like Oh yeah. They were they were little ones. I know I've never seen a really big one. And I've never been to Australia, so I've never seen them in the wild. Because that's where they live, right? In Australia. So did you know that kangaroos are part of the marsupial family? Have you ever heard of that? Marsu, because they have these pouches that they carry their babies in. 
some other marsupials. Do you know any other animals that have a pouch that they carry their babies in? Let's think. There is one marsupial that lives in North America, which is where we are right now. And that is a possum. Possums, oh. yeah, possums carry their babies in pouches too. And in Australia, koala bears are marsupials too. Oh. Yeah, because they carry their babies in pouches. All right, so once you have it kind of all painted, like I said, you don't have to worry too much about that bottom section. Like it's okay to have paint on it, but it's gonna like kind of not be shown. So we're gonna put the pouch on top of it. So once we're kind of like, yeah, take a good look at mine. That's right. There you go. You're doing great. Yeah, you're gonna paint because that's gonna go on top. That's that's the mama's pouch. So we're gonna see just that front part too. Yeah, pull it out a little farther in front of you. Yeah. They can see you, huh? I like tapping it like that because it makes it look like the fur. It also covers it a little bit better. So we don't get like streaky, you know, you kind of see it like once I put some paint on. So once we're done, we're going to kind of put this aside to dry and we will go ahead and make the rest of it while it's drying. So by the time we come back, it, it'll probably be ready to put together. You're doing a great job. I love it. All right. So we are making our kangaroos brown, like you see, but really, like you could make your kangaroo any color you want. Like you can make, like, a, what's your favorite color, Addy? Pink. A pink. We can make a pink kangaroo next time, right? We can make a purple kangaroo with orange polka dots. You can make your kangaroo look however you want. So we're gonna make ours brown today, but you can make it whatever color you want next time. Okay. All right. So I think this is a good amount of paint. Let's see. And if we decide we need more paint later, we can always add some more. All right, while our bodies of our kangaroo are drying, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the parts for our kangaroo. So there is a template, but if you don't have access to a printer, you can always draw these parts yourself. So you would draw a head for your kangaroo, and we have the big back leg, we're gonna make two of those, and we have his little tiny front legs, we're gonna make two of those, and a long tail. So I have found that kind of putting the paper underneath we're gonna put two pieces because we remember we need to cut out two legs and then stapling it so that the paper doesn't wiggle is really good. And my friends over at Crafting Genie taught me this little trick. They do this with all their templates over there. So you're gonna need two pieces of the brown construction paper. Put little Joey aside for now, we don't need him yet. And this will go right on top. Your template will go on top. So you can see what you're cutting. Okay, good. So this will give us actually two heads if we cut it like this. So we're gonna cut the legs probably first. And go ahead, you can use the stapler there, Addy. Remember
All right, now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we're gonna just decorate them a little bit, give them a little white fur and some color. So we're painting with our pom-poms and Q-tips. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I like doing this, like tapping off a little bit and then we'll get a little bit of like white fur, you know? See how that kind of makes it, yeah. like if you just kind of tap a little bit. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of white fur along the fronts of his legs. All right, you can do whatever you want with yours, Addy. That's okay, there's no mistakes, just keep going. Just tap, tap out and it'll spread it out a little bit more. There you go. So I tap on the plate a little bit sometimes first, right? So it gets a little bit of that paint off. Sometimes there's more than we want, huh? There we go. And you'll notice because our, when we cut out our pouch, he was facing this direction. So we have all of our pieces facing this direction. I'm gonna do a little. So on our plate of paints, we have white and black. Oh, my tail's facing the wrong way. There I go. That fixes it. This tail was gonna be like up in the air if I didn't switch it around. <laughs> I mean, I right? guess it could be like that. Yeah, yours is right. Yours was right. Mine was mine was the one that was backwards. <laughs> We're gonna decorate little Joey too. It matches mama, right? Mm -hmm. So the babies of kangaroos are called Joey's even though Joey sounds like a boy's name, but a Joey can be a girl or a boy. It just means it's a, it's a baby kangaroo. So it's not his name. <laughs> I guess we could name him Joey too, but. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and get it in the black and kind of like the ends of our, the paws are black. Yeah. Whoops, I got a little black on my leg. That's all right. You can say you stepped in something, <laughs> right? <laughs> so a little black. I noticed when I looked at pictures of kangaroos, they have this little bit. So again, we're making our kangaroos look like real kangaroos would, but you can make yours look however you want. Like if you want to to uh, make it look like a cartoon one, you could do that. I also noticed the kangaroos, they have a little bit of kind of black around the eyes like that. I think I'm gonna add a little white there too. Just kind of, just give a little. I don't know how I'll do that. Yeah, you can do whatever, you can do it however you want, or you can not do it at all. It's totally up to you, okay? And I put a little bit of this yellow, this like golden yellow color, and I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna tap it on the plate so there's not so much on there. And then I'm just gonna add it a little bit here and there. Yeah. A little bit and you don't have to do this but i like that little I bit like of that. yeah it looks kind of cool well i'm going to put it on on his tummy and put a little golden I yellow on his joey. tummy yeah a little golden yellow on joey's tummy i want a little bit of white again on that too and mix up the white and the yellow let's see i'll do a little on on his uh neck there So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just tap, 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 however you like it. I think mine is already drying the white. Yeah, it does. It dries really fast. It does. I'm gonna give him a little eye with my black. But this guy, he's gonna get an extra special eye and I'll show you that in just a minute. So mama, mama kangaroo is gonna get an extra special eye. There you go. Nice job, buddy.
Very good. We've got so many pieces on the table. I don't think our friends can see them all. That's okay. Well, they'll see them all when they when we put it together. So we did a little black, we did a little yellow, a little white. Hmm. Do I want to do anything else to my? I think I'm happy with how mine looks right now. Maybe I'll do a little bit of yellow on the ears. Just a you like mine. I like it. It looks great. I'm really happy with that. All right, so just like we did with the plates, this might take a minute to dry, but like Addie was saying, this dries super fast because we just tapped on a little light paint. So while we have this here, I think we're going to go ahead and add the eye. So these are called metal brads, or sometimes they're called fasteners. And usually they're like, like, a, like a gold color, like if you have them in your classroom. But these ones are colored, so if you don't have colored ones, you can paint it or you can just dip it in the paint. But this one's already black, so I'm going to give you one. And I'm gonna take a black one too. There we go. And the paper is pretty thin, so we don't really have to punch a hole. See how it's a little pointy on the end? Yeah. We can just kind of gently push it through where we want the eye. Yeah, I see how so I'm gonna kind of like, and it's gonna have to be a little careful, but it just kind of presses right through. And there's his eye right there. And on the back part then, you separate the two parts and that's what holds it in place. So there's mine. Yeah, there you go, Addie. Just press it right through nice and gentle. See, it went through pretty easy, huh? Show them out here what it looks like. And then you're gonna kind of just turn it over and separate those two pieces and press. Nice. There we go, so that's the eye. So I gave mine a little nose too. I painted his nose. All right, so we're all done with this part. You can go, oh, you want to paint a nose too? Perfect. So we're all done with this part. We're gonna set this aside too. We're gonna to see if the body's dry. And if it's dry, then we're gonna put it all together. All right. All right, now our plates have dried and the pieces that we cut out and decorated for our kangaroo have all dried, so we're ready to put it together. The first thing we need to do is put the pouch onto Mama Kangaroo. So. I'm gonna use the stapler first and I'm gonna pass it to you. And we're just gonna put a couple of staples. We don't need too many. All along the edge. And um, here's the tricky part where it's like kind of like, you gotta really sandwich both pieces of that plate in there and just get that. Oh, it's even hard for me. So you gotta kind of smush them, smush them into that stapler and then slide it down and do it again. So Addie, I'm gonna pass you the stapler. All right, so we put a staple right here on the top, way at the top. Yep. And if you want to put it on the table, you can press down onto that stapler. There you go. Perfect. You got it. Like I said, it doesn't take too many staples. Let's put one at the bottom. Little Joey's just paper, so he doesn't, you know, he's not going to go anywhere. Good. And one more at the top here so that it stays in place. All right. Nice. So now we just need to glue our pieces in place. Um, because of this little curve, sometimes you need to hold it down and really press it for a minute to make sure that it sticks. So go ahead and get your glue stick out. And let's go ahead. We're going to glue everything on except Joey because he gets to pop in and out of the pouch. So put a little bit on the head. And we'll put the head right at the top there. And I think I'm going to angle mine a little bit just like that. I'm going to really press down so that it sticks. And of course he has two arms. One's going to go in front and then the other one will go behind. All right, give it a nice squeeze there, Addy. Really squeeze it on. Yeah, you want to feel like the glue has grabbed. And if it doesn't, like you can add more glue or you can just hold it for another minute and it will grab on.
now that we have our kangaroo all together, the only thing to do is to put Joey in the pouch. Just like that. There's your little Joey. Put him right in your pouch. Yep. Nice. Aw, little mama and her baby. Addy, that it looks so cute. I love them. Oh my goodness, he's so sweet in the little pouch like that. Good job. Nice. Well, thank you so much for crafting with us today. And Addy, I had so much fun with you. I think the kangaroos turned out so cute. Can I see the little baby Joey of yours? Oh my goodness, he's adorable, isn't he? And I can't wait to see the kangaroos that you make at home too. And again, if you need the supplies, just look down in the description. They're all part of our master list of just 27 items that fit into one bag that we use to make every single craft here. And what do we always say? Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yes, please follow along because we're going to be making all kinds of fun things. And I can't wait to see what crafts you make. Have a great day.